All right. Um, as I was saying, gonna just kick back with this tonight. Maybe something else later, but we'll see. We will play it by ear. Um, but yeah, the game has been patched. Not again since last time I played, but um, what they did addresses most of the bugs that people were upset about, including myself. And rightfully so, because it just completely broke the game. Um, so that's not a good thing for something that you paid for. Just straight up having broken stuff. There's a, a reason to actually update now. Uh, I mean, look, like... It's not to say it's completely bug-free. Um, in fact, there's a really funny bug that within the first five minutes... I came across. It's not game breaking, but it is annoying given, you know, they said they fixed st stuff like that. And it, it depends on you because there are people that um, do not like the code migration if you're not aware of it. So it's like, you know, console and PC are effectively running on a similar code base. And there are people that have been saying that it just doesn't feel right. Even with this patch, it's just like, well, it's just a fundamental thing. So if you don't notice that, then yeah, update. Um, there's no reason not to, right? But if you still have the mind that like, ever since they did that merge, it just doesn't feel the same, that's not gonna change your mind about that. The main thing is Mythrix is killable again. Items have their highlights. Um, what else? I'm thinking of the most egregious bugs. Oh, and um, at least from what I tested, things being tied to FPS, that seems to be fixed. So you're not having those weird interactions where if you're running this at an uncapped frame rate, like lasers will just insta-kill you. But there are still some funny bugs. Um, on the false sun, so his slam ability, if you jump before you slam, he won't, he'll effectively float in the air. And then you have to press jump again to get the skill to land. Which, whilst funny, I just, I don't get it. They, they fixed... They supposedly fixed a bug with Acrid that had a similar thing where Acrid's leap wasn't causing contact damage when it landed on enemies. So it seems like it's exactly that, except now it's like if you jump... Okay. If you jump from a normal height and do the slam attack, it will do that thing. But then if you do it from a height where you would take full damage, it works. I came across that within the first five minutes of gameplay, so I find it really hard to believe that they're not aware of this one. I mean, to quote Randy Pitchford, just some jank that they tolerated, most likely. <laughs> it's just... That's not a great thing to hear from someone that's in charge, you know? Like, they, they don't... They're just like, eh, whatever. Like, it's fine. I'd be shocked if they weren't aware of that bug. And then, for some reason, it awarded me the, um... The False Sun's extra skill. Even though I didn't do anything, like, it just awarded it to me out of nowhere. So that was weird. Yeah, I mean, I looked at the footage yesterday, and I, I couldn't have an explanation. I hadn't... I hadn't used the beam attack, I was just using my secondary. And then it just awarded it to me when I killed one enemy, it was just... Bizarre.
Um, but, I mean, yeah, check the patch notes. A, a lot of fixes. But the biggest ones, I think, are addressed. I think the thing now in general is, like, the items that they introduce need retuning. Because, I mean, this was my feeling, even without really, really thinking about it, was just these new items, they don't really, with the exception of maybe a couple, um, they don't really fit into enabling a new playstyle or, like, a synergy. Most of them tend to be on the utility and defensive side. And there's nothing wrong with having items like that, but when that's all you're getting, it's just a bit weird. Like, take this one, for example. This one, I feel like, I don't know. It's weird in design. On paper, it sounds good. It's like, oh, deal more damage when you're on lower health. But then you think about it, and it's like, well, later on in the runs, you have healing coming from so many different sources, and you kind of have to have that, right? So, to have that threshold where it's, I believe it's half for it to proc, you're not really on half health for more than a couple seconds, unless you're like in dire circumstances. So the item by itself is just weird. Like either they need to higher the threshold so it's like 75% or maybe even 80, or just rework it because it's, it's just, it's a weird item. Uh-oh. I love the irony of that, that I'm on low health. Anyway. I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. I took too much fall damage. Alright, I'll tell you what, that was a little bit of a bonus watch. Because it hasn't been patched. Ready? I discovered this within the first five minutes, and bugged. And then you jump again. But if I do it from, say, this height, it works. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know how they missed this one, honestly. Anyway, I'm going back to Huntress. Hey, Vanna, how's it going? You're up late. Oh, and though they didn't mention, I think they fixed the aspect bug. It's the phrasing of it is weird because it would suggest that other circumstances could make it happen. this hour, I, I pretty much get the people that can't sleep or, uh, uh, I guess the early risers in other parts of the world. You ruined your sleep schedule? As, I mean, as long as you get the sleep you need, I'm over the mind, it's like, it's fine. Unless you have something to do tomorrow in the morning, that would suck. That's always been my thing. I'm like, late night here. Um, but anyway, like, the sentiment behind all the items is just... 
most of them, they're not really that good. So they're kind of diluting the item pool now. Uh, just gonna take meds and then sleep more. Okay. Yeah, then. That's fine. Sleep schedule's not ruined until you don't get the sleep you need. And you're like. <laughs> kind of barely scraping through things you're supposed to do. Finish the show? Nah, nah. Didn't really watch more afterwards. It's got five seasons of it, so there's no chance it was getting finished. And the new season, I think, is next month. Stop. I don't want this item. I'm glad people enjoyed. It's a weird show, so it's like a bit of a tough sell. Show. Oh, we were checking out um, what we do in the shadows. If you're not familiar with it, it's a, it's like in the style of The Office, but it's it's a vampire documentary, effectively. It's just a uh, very dry sense of humor sort of TV show. It was a movie, and then um, they've made a TV show out of it. So there's almost time for Spook. Can recommend if you're looking for something new to watch. And you're into, um, like, what, 22 minute comedy shows? I was just talking about it. And so I was just like, oh, I'll, I'll watch an episode of it. And then that became like watching practically the whole first season. People enjoyed it that much. Time went by really quickly. God, what the hell? Oh, these things are doing it. That's what's doing it. That's what's doing it. Oh, 
Survivor starting soon, man. I haven't seen any sort of reality TV show like that in a while. The exception being Hell's Kitchen. So, I mean, I just watch Gordon Ramsay because he just <laughs> yells at people that... I mean, sometimes they don't deserve it, but I'd say 80% of the time they do. I hope this isn't a mistake. Alright. Oh god. What I need to happen is the insta-death. Dude, why? Come on, that's not cool. Wait, no, that has to go, that has to go, that has to go. I didn't get a healing item. Oh, thank you. Okay. It happened. Um, I have never gotten this. Get this, get this. Quick, be quick, be quick. Gain gold on stage start. Why is this a red item? Okay, speaking of underwhelming items, there you go. That guy was new, right? Yeah. It's a shrine that basically you start the event, um, you feed gold into it, and the more gold you feed it, the more items you get out of it when the event's over, and you just have to fight that thing. It's cool. I like it. But the red item, oh my god, that's... So what? Uh, it's like Gore's Tome? It better be a lot of gold. If it's not a lot of gold, it's not. Why is it a red item? We have a green item that does that exact thing, but it does it when you kill enemies, which is arguably better. Well, you had dreams about natural disasters? Jeez, what kind? I mean, I've, I've had the occasional dream that that sort of thing happens. Um, I'm not picking that item up. And there's a very good reason. Because I'm going to the void. If I get down to low health, that thing's gonna teleport me out into the void and kill me. It's, it's dumb. Tornadoes. Yeah, I guess that's something that I never have to worry about here. We don't get them. We get cyclones further north, but we don't get inland tornadoes. So it's something I never have to worry about. And the, I guess the earthquakes we get, they're like pretty minor. 256 gold, so... I hope that scales, because if, if it's just a flat 256 every time, that's not a good item. For it being red. Like, red in this game, it's... They're items where if you get one of them, it makes your character really powerful. It gives you a, a big advantage. So red should be something that is like, wow, this is really doing something for me. You don't get earthquakes? Okay. I mean, earthquakes are just the sort of thing that... They start and then you're like, wait, what, what is this? And then it takes, like, 
a, a few seconds for it to click what it is. I guess as someone that hasn't really experienced them that many. Wait, you can go down here. Oh, you've never seen this? This is um, something you should try to do every run. And you'll see why. So you got a selection, a random selection of enemies. And you just have to s charge the cell. If I leave this, I take damage. You'll see. But um, every round you survive, you get given an item, and it increases in quality every time. But the enemies also get a set of items themselves. So it's kind of risk versus reward sort of thing. Is If you can make it to the end, you get a red item. Um, but obviously, the chances of death, they get pretty, pretty crazy. So typically you want to do this um, from stage one. If you do it later in the game, you have to be really strong to be able to do this. Um, I guess I'll go stun grenade. So yeah, this will close and then you look at the sky, see if you can see a beam of light. If you can't, just walk anyway. There it is. So I have to go over there. Did I see the trailer for the Minecraft movie? I haven't seen it yet, but I've seen enough of it. If that makes sense, just because of people talking about it. I'm not really into Minecraft. But it's definitely one of these things that's like, oh yeah, no, they planned this to come out during the school holidays. Like, it's going to make a lot of money. I just gotta wait. It's just a product. It's a product placement movie. Like I can't imagine it's gonna be a good movie for older people. Um, but for kids, like they they don't care. You know, it's just if it's slop, they'll consume the slop. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of why I've been watching older movies lately. It's just, it feels like... I've had this discussion a few times. Um, so, my brother got gifted tickets to the... Um, oh god, they got the, the watch. That's not good. Um, to go to... It's called Gold Class here in Australia, but it's the premium movie experience where you get really comfortable chairs, they bring out food, that sort of thing, right? So you want to use it on a good movie. So the question he posed to a few of us, like, you know, in, in the family, but then also the friends, was like, Okay, what movie do you know that's coming within the next year? Because he, he, it, he it only has a year. He has to use the ticket within the year. What movie is coming out that is worth using this ticket on? And no one could provide an answer. Because every movie that we thought of, or looked up, or listed, it was just like, eh, it's not a great movie. It's like, some of them, they're okay, but would you spend a ticket to get like a VIP ex movie watching experience on it? Probably not. Um, and that's kind of the state of things, is like, the majority of stuff that comes out is just either a rehash um or it's like the same six movies that just not really taking any risks they go with stuff that you know is either something that'll do well because kids recognize it or it's a sequel or they just make another superhero movie so lately i've been watching a lot of movies from the 90s early 2000s and 80s 
And man, there's definitely a different feel to them. This might be the old old man coming out in me, but given what I saw of the Minecraft movie trailer, where it's just like, I don't know, man. I just don't think <laughs> these movies are for me anymore. The thing is, they don't need to try. They get more than enough traction and money to break a profit. Yeah. But I mean, at a certain, at a certain point in time, I think, you know, even the general populace will get bored of it. Like, they're, they're making a new Bad Boys movie with Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. I think it's already out, but the moment I saw that, I was like, Dude, tell a new story. What What do you mean? Like, nothing against those guys as actors, but it's just like, they're in their 50s. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> just do an action movie that's new. Why, why are you feeding on nostalgia? I know the answer, but... Like, Will Smith is going to be 80 years old and it's going to be Bad Boys 7. Probably not gonna survive just because or oh. I hate blind pests. Like the Fast and Furious movies. I exactly. It this isn't a comment on, like, whether or not you enjoy the movie. Like, if you want to go see the new Bad Boys movie and you're going to enjoy it and have a good time, more power to you. But just the idea of, um... I don't know, man. Like, just come up, come up with something new. I remember seeing stuff in, in Family Guy and cartoons like that that would joke about um, like an actor that just refuses to retire and is like doing movies when they're senile. And honestly, it's kind of become that. It's like, how many... <sighs> Movies were lucky to get three in a, fr in a franchise. You would have a movie, and then... If it did really well, it would get a sequel right away. And then the sequel, most of the time, wouldn't be as good. And then if they were lucky, they would get a third movie. And they would move on to something completely fresh and new. There are exceptions, but in general. Particularly with kids' movies. Ooh, okay. Cartoon you're excited for is Moana 2. I've heard good things about that movie. I just haven't... I haven't watched cartoon <laughs> in a long time. The last... I mean, it doesn't count, but... Because um, I guess it's like the medium is Japanese animation. But I'm talking Pixar stuff I haven't... Or Disney, I haven't really seen. I think the last one I saw was like the one that was... Um, I forgot the name of it. But it's thematically around Dia de los Muertos. I forgot its name. I'm terrible with names. I 
This is such a cursed combination. Okay, yeah. That one. And that's because, you know, it's like a cultural significance to me. This is not bad. No, I, I like that I've gotten this. It'll let me get Topaz Barrage procs easily. You still enjoy cartoons? Same. I mean, I grew up where it still wasn't socially acceptable for an adult to like cartoons. I'm glad that's changed. I mean, man, I was still around in an era where, like, just owning a computer made you a nerd. Or, sp well, spending more than a couple of hours a day on the, the computer made you a nerd. Like, just how stupid that sounds in hindsight, but that's what it was. Meanwhile, everyone's carrying a computer in their pocket now. A lot of the new shows are too cringe, though. Yeah, I, I feel the same way. Again, it's, it's just this thing where... It's just formulaic. I'm gonna wait until I have full health. I don't know, sometimes I definitely get the feeling like I was born a decade too early. Like, right before when it became acceptable for a lot of different things. <laughs> but at the same time... I'm kind of glad to be as old as I am in some ways. Kind of the opposite, or you feel like you were born too late. I mean, for me, it's mostly like stuff like if I was in my early twenties and streaming, I could, I couldn't do it back in the day because internet was bad in Australia. But now it's good. And it's viable. You're at a hard age at the moment. How so? I think I know the answer, but let's let's hear it. I can't believe I've gotten that many reds. Well, let's hope they don't get anything too obnoxious. Oh god. No, I might lose here. I'm gonna die. This is scary. I need to... I need to kill them in one shot, or... I lose. Yeah. 
the moment I start damaging one, I cannot let it go. Ah! Yep. <laughs> there it goes. That was unlucky. Just don't have anything together, if that makes sense. Alright. Let me tell you something that I told some younger relatives. Um, first of all, do not listen to any pressures in terms of thinking that your life needs to be in a certain place at a certain age. Because that comes from boomers, and that shit is like... The world is not the same as it was when they grew up. It's just not. Like, the reality is, and not to get super depressing, but for millennials and millennial adjacent, like, very close, we were made to feel like our lives were meant to be more organized than what they were, when in reality, we're paying more for everything. Um... And they guilt trip us to the point where, like, we think we need to work harder than what we really should be working. Like, you can't go to school, you can't get married, all that stuff. You have to basically pick. Otherwise, you, like, plummet into severe debt, one way or another. And just their whole thing of, like, go out and get a job. Go to the manager. Talk to the manager. Like, that shit just doesn't work anymore. Everything is AI now. You don't... Most of the time, you don't even get human reading your resume. Well, something to the point where, like, about 90% of the larger companies in the US use AI to scan resumes. So you're not even dealing with that anymore. So pretty much it's to the point now where, like, think of whatever place you feel like you need to be at right now, add 10 years to it. Because that's the reality is, like, when you're in your 30s, that's roughly where boomers were when they were in their 20s. So there's absolutely nothing that you should need to feel like you should have done already. Because it comes from like such a stupid, unrealistic pressure right now that some can achieve, but most can't. It's just not sustainable anymore. Especially the whole thing where it's like, hey, you're a teenager. Decide what you want to do for 30 years or 40 years of your life and stick to it. It's like, that's not, people aren't happy when they do that. There's nothing wrong with, like, not knowing what you want to do, and then sometime in your, like, mid or late 20s or even 30s going, Oh yeah, this is what I like doing. I've figured it out. Honestly, the most interesting people I know are people that, like, in their 30s, they figured shit out, like, what they wanted to do. Or changed career paths, or just, you know, they realized they weren't happy with what they were doing and just went in a completely different direction. But yeah, don't ever feel like your life should be somewhere. What is this? On um, high damage, they'll increase the chance for a meteor attack. Never seen this. Did it mean to ruin the vibe? No, no. I wouldn't say it ruined the vibe. It's just real talk, right? That's fine. You feel like you won't have a house for five years or more. You're still living with your parents at 23. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, put that out of your mind. Again, it's, it's boomer mentality that... You should have a house and all that at the young age. You can't do that realistically anymore. And if you do, you've either A, been born into wealth, or B, like you've had to had, have your parents chip in. Like, you're not self-made anymore. And you, usually, like, if you're in a couple, you both have to work hard. It's not a case of one person can work hard and that's enough. But no, like, you know, we're the entitled ones.
How old was I when I moved? I think I was like... 24, maybe, when I moved out. And I have relatives that are like, um... That, man, they're kicking 30s door down soon, and they, they still live at home, but it's just like, why would you want to move out? Okay. <sighs> There's a difference between living and surviving. Do you know what I mean? It's like, if you could move out now, but you, you would just barely be scraping by, you know? Like, living paycheck to paycheck. That's just surviving, it's not really living. So it's like, you shouldn't feel bad to still be at home. If that's really the alternative, is like, well, yeah, you got to move out, but then are you really living? Or are you just barely scraping through? I say stay as long as you need at home and don't worry about anyone else. And when the time comes and it's like, well, you can realistically move out and still have a semblance of, like, being able to do things that have disposable income. Then, yeah. I don't know. At the very least, know that it's not something that only you would be feeling like. I think every person... <laughs> well, maybe not every person, but, like, most people in the millennial and slightly under group have felt that to some degree at some point. Thinking that they should have been further at this current point in time. Oh, that was close. Alright, and thus concludes my talk. <laughs> TLDR. Try your best to not think about that sort of stuff. Like, you're doing fine. You're not behind on anything. Ugh, this item's terrible. Someone did the math for it, and... Again, it's another item that seems like it's good on paper. Oh crap, I forgot about this. Can I still do this? I think I can, right? I can, cool. Okay, so this is independent of the stage timer, good to know. I think it'd be okay if you get a shit ton of stacks, but that's it. Nah, it's, it's not. So, if you get 10 stacks, right, that gives you a 100% chance to reflect the damage. And at 10 stacks, um, let's say I take half of the health I have as damage. It means it's doing about 400 damage to the enemy, which when you're at the later difficulties where enemies have tens of thousands, hell, even... 100k HP, that's really nothing. When, like, let's say 10 stacks of dagger, what that does to you. It's ab it's absolute garbage. Just when you do it, when you put it into numbers, it, it sounds better than what it is. It's like something that falls off pretty quickly. So unless you get a printer of it on, in stage one, even then it's just, by the time you're looping and whatnot, it's not, it's not great.
I definitely fell for like the whole thing of um feeling the need to at the age of like 21 being at a point where like I could be out on my own and have a job that would allow me to do that and that just was not realistic in the slightest. It took me a while to get to that point. I just don't believe in the whole... I mean, okay. I believe if you work hard, you will get rewarded for it, but the definition of, like, working hard is skewed. It's like, the people that say that want you to work yourself to death, basically. And it's just one of those things that's... If you're having to do that, that's, that's not living at that point. It's like when everything is said and done, all that hard work you put in, like to the point where it was mentally draining, people aren't going to re remember that really. Like the company you work for will live without you. It's like there's always going to be more work but there won't be more of, like, life in general. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's something that I myself have struggled with is just... I think now in, in my 30s, I got my work-life balance sorted out. But definitely in my early 20s, mid-20s, like, I was working way too much. Because I guess I, I felt like I that's what I had to do. Otherwise, I wasn't gonna stand a chance in, like, achieving the things that I wanted to achieve. So, you know, don't, don't do that, I guess is what I'm saying. I mean, have aspirations and all that shit, for sure, but don't... There's a difference between survival and living. That's the, that's the key thing I want to say. Don't do things to survive. God, like, <laughs> uh, I hope I'm not sounding like an old man trying to like give out nuggets of wisdom. I'm fine. Okay, good. And I can be a little conceited to do that. But if there's one thing that I just don't like seeing, it's just... Man, people that have that pressure looming over them. Because I've, I've been there, man. Like, I know how that shit feels. And, you know, don't get me wrong. Some of that pressure is still there, but... At the very least, I'm aware that it's often bullshit.
This item's also bad. Alright, I guess we're going now. Oh, didn't I get the newt altar? No, wait, I couldn't find it. It's in the back corner. I mean, if I do this, I'm probably gonna die, but whatever. My belief is, if I can't do the void stage, I'm probably gonna lose anyway. I mean, I, I think spiritually I've always been an old man. Even as a teenager. But I guess now that I'm... I've caught up. I'm at the age where my personality and behavior lines up. will be fine. Uh-oh. Dude. Please, enough with the fist. Yeah, I don't have any heals, so this is harder, a lot harder than... Oh god. No, nah, I'm dead. <laughs> I didn't have any heal. That's... it's hard. Is this one of these nights where I'm just not gonna get anywhere? Maybe. It's alright. Welcome to this game and this genre in general is like, you just get the worst luck sometimes and then... It's like, you have low lows but you have very high highs. Okay. Ha ha ha. Oh, uh, what's that? You need you need heal, Will? Why didn't you ask for it? Here, have a med kit. You can win now, right? You got everything you asked for. You got heal. If that's all that was stopping you, go win. Sleep. All right, no worries, Vanal. Thanks for hanging out. Shit, hopefully, like, what I was talking about <laughs> doesn't keep the brain going. It's probably not the best topic to discuss <laughs> right before bed. Uh...
I'm fine. All right, good. You know what the single worst, single worst piece of um, advice that a boomer tried to give me? And I think about this every now and then. Is that um, getting a career in computers is like the worst move? <laughs> just man, that one, that one's just solid gold advice right there. Go work in some other field. Age like milk, oh for sure. Five in the morning. Shit, get get some sleep. <laughs> and again, that was me last night. Anyway, I stayed up late. But I slept, so I'm okay. Just all my responsible adult stuff has been handled. leave the stream open. Okay. Well, thank you for that. S said it was 5am. Well, Vanna said it was 5am for her. Me, it's 8pm. I'm fine. I was up until about that time last night watching random stuff. The time zone's whack here. Yeah. Oh, it's whack. No matter what. This is why I wish I was more of a morning person. What most Australian streamers do, at least the ones that um, want to do it at more of a career sort of thing, they choose to stream at like 5 in the morning, if I'm not wrong, because that's the time when... It's like uh, evening for Europe and during the day for North America. So that's where you have the largest amount of viewers watching Twitch. And since most of the audience skews towards America and Europe, you kind of have to cater to that. I tried, but the problem is I'm just... Man, for me to do that, if let's say I get up at four, you would think something was wrong with me until like about six in the morning, because I just wouldn't be able to maintain conversation and remember that, oh yeah, I gotta fill in um, dead air with something. It's probably because I go to bed late, but that's just how I've always been. But yeah, I mean, Australia, the time zone's not great for interacting with the rest of the world. There's overlap for sure, but it's just, it's a, it's an overlap that's harder to manage <laughs> if you're working during the day. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, let's scrap up. This is good. Um, so, I mean, those prayer beads are interesting, but I feel like that's an item... At a certain point, who cares about XP? But at least I'll be able to make use of it here, because there's a scrapper, so... Again, it's another one of these items that's just... I don't know, man. Like, what is its place? I have a hard time understanding what the intent of its use is. It's not really enabling a new playstyle. It doesn't really synergize with another item. It's just this thing that's sort of there. And you wouldn't want to grab this when you're looping, because at that point you don't really care about your level anymore. Like, its window of where it's probably the most beneficial is very small. I'll get this just in case. This will defend me if, if there's any shenanigans of heavy hitting going on. Okay, good. That's good. That's a good one. They got crit. This is- I have such bad luck. Watch them get crowbar. But this is why I got opal. <laughs> Just in case. I had a feeling it was going to happen, so that's why I got it. Gasoline. That fin is another one that's just... The easiest test is what happens when you get 10 of those, the new items. That's the way I judge them is like, if you get 10 of the same white item, what? how powerful does your character feel? And that fin is just, well, okay. It doesn't knock them up that high into the air. It doesn't do bonus damage when it does that. The only use case is like, okay, if you get enough of them, you could send them soaring, and it's funny. And I guess they take full damage, but to take so many items just to achieve that, I don't know. This doesn't make sense. Not bad. Yeah, that red item. I don't know. That... That's such a weird of choice. Just giving gold. At least I know not to grab it now. I think I have enough opal.
Oh yeah, I have a med kit. Do this instead. Okay. This is this is manageable. TG for sure. Where are we going? Over there. Nice. <laughs> okay, let's go. They got an item that does nothing for him. Uh, Alright, fine, whatever. I'll get rid of this as soon as I can. If nothing else, it's good for getting rid of wisps. Get him. Okay. Uh, ooh. I don't have this. I'm tempted to get raised a lot, but I think I'm fine. Hey, Laura, what's up? Uh-oh. They have crit. I will see. As I don't get something that happens when they hit. <laughs> All right. Uh, go with us. Where's the next one? Cool. <laughs> as long as they don't get an annoying red item, I might actually win for once.
Uh, I'll get a feather. Just get some utility. Okay, we're fine. That item does nothing for them. Damn it! <laughs> Alright, well, whatever. That's fine. Get him. My clone can handle them. Oh, wait. Oh, right. I, I can do two of them. <laughs> yeah. Kick back. Yeah, it's got to be that. I have ATG. Okay, um, give me a sec. Where is it? That. What do I want here? I guess go damage. Oh. And get rid of this garbage item. I just need move speed now, and then I, I think I'll be comfortable. I think that's everything. Wait, is that... No, it's not. Alright. Uh... Eh, I'll keep it. I gotta try and beat the new path, which I think, I don't know. I don't know how strong you need to be for it. Given the first time I beat it, I think I technically glitched it. <laughs> so, I don't really have a good, what is that? Trying to shaping? I forgot what this is. It's not exactly clear what this does. Okay, so I mean, I lost a third of my health, but what... Plus one. Can I mouse over the buff? Nah, it doesn't tell me what it is. I have no idea. I couldn't figure out what this gave me. It's really unclear. Ok, 
Okay, nice. Maybe I should look this up. Because I don't think I'm going to understand exactly what it does. Oh, it's one of these. Ugh. What is going on? Where are all the enemies? Maybe I'm just k killing stuff too quickly. I think I'm good with move speed for a while. I don't know. I just worry that it's going to break. I think that's it. Other than the gambling shrine at the back. All right. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> uh... I don't think I want another jump. What I'll do, I'll go scrap the feathers I have and then get reduced to one. Is that? Why can't I ping this? Okay, have a look. Oh, it is a chest, okay.
Come on. <laughs> oh. Um, nah. I'm fine. Back in a second. Wait, what was what was the scrapper? Wasn't it around here? I thought that was a scrapper here. Oh, here it is. Okay, um, get rid of the feathers. Oh, God. What stage am I on? I think I lost track of what stage I was up to. Alright, it's fine. my my bubble um yeah I mean I guess Guess I'm done. Oh. What is that? Oh, goodbye. Yeah, okay, guess I'm done. That was quick.
because two of them isn't that. Like that, that's good. Wait, what? That's an enemy? I mean, let's try. No. Nah. What was the other one? Over here, right? Yep. Rockets, rockets. Wait, is that, would that be good? Hang on. What have I got? Uh, not really. All right. Onwards. That's not good. Why did that hurt so much? Is that a gilded Lemurian? No, it is. Oh, shit. No, get away from that. That is insanely scary. Is 
This is annoying. It's gonna take all my money. It has to go, but at the same time, I can't get close to it. I have to play this is to do this. Oh, piss off. Really? Really? Wow, this game is such a dick. <laughs> I need, to, I need to get rid of that healing one. Yes! Does that magical proc. Thank you. Oh my god. Anything else? The track to the stage is probably my favorite. It's so good. stupid item. Why is this item a red item? I had to try. Like, resonance disc. Ugh. Like, it, it's so dumb. It's, it's something that the moment you get it, it doesn't have, like, you're not feeling an immediate effect of it. That's, I think, the stupidest thing about it, is, like, you have to wait until the next stage. And then it's like, well, that's it, it did what it needed to do at the start of the stage, now it's this thing that you're carrying that does nothing. And it's a red item. I hope I misinterpreted how the item works, but just, man. You could make this a white item. You really could. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> Just 
just as bad. Lysash cell? That's not... I don't mind Lysash cell. On Huntress, it's pretty okay. Especially if I got to do it with the shrimp. Oh, there's three of them. Wow. Go away. Let's go. <laughs> That's what I want to see. Stole a lockbox somewhere on the stage. I probably should have hunted it out. Why not? Oh, here it is. Um... Wongus? Yeah, take Wongus. Double ICBM, let's go. That makes up for the battery roll. <laughs> okay. We looping until we get green portal. Sure. 
shot. Everything's fine. Um, yes, definitely want that. I think that was um, a doll proc. Damn it. I will get the rockets. Stop! <laughs> Give me. Give me the thing. I don't want to reroll the equipment first. No. I mean, that's also a good choice. Just because fireworks. But it's not what I want. Scythe was a bad choice. I don't have crit, technically. Sure. Dude, how many mountain shrines am I going to get here? Ha! Ah. One of them fell.
Okay, I gotta go turn on the artifact. I think for the sake of combat, I'm taking this with me. It just makes sense. I'll get the, uh, the recycler at the end of the fight, but for the fight itself... Being able to spam... That's fine. Whoa. Oh boy. Okay. Yep, no, get back. This is going to be a weird fight. Okay, I need to put this here. Uh, can, uh, damn it. Is that a battle? I need to put it in combat. If I can't finish this fight, I can abandon it. Guess that's the thing, is I don't need to rush this. They're up above. They're not going to get me. position that we're gonna hit. Yup. Hopefully. Hmm, doesn't look like it's hitting there. What an awkward place to have a fight. I'm not gonna do this. Okay, hang on. Careful. Dude, oh my god, did I just go through the floor? I'm just trying to avoid this being annoying. There was no way. I should have just abandoned it. Ah, uh, they were just in an annoying spot.
There was nothing I could have done to beat them. I feel like that's premature for that. I'm try. I just can't believe it didn't give me the portable rocket launcher. things along. Oh, good. This is a good early start. Yeah, I mean, not the greatest thing, but with um, what I have, like that's not gonna be hard to get it. It's a freebie, so I can't complain too much. do the other stuff first. Oh, okay. Ugh, utility. I guess I gotta go for it now. Ooh, this will be useful. As long as I defend it. Alright, let's go. That's very, very fortunate positioning. What the hell? Leave my turret alone! This was probably the best thing that could have happened.
Gotta get it to stop attacking. I think the fact that it goes very far away is kind of annoying. Alright, please. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, thank you. Backup mag and that. Uh, let's. Hopefully, there's another chest somewhere. Even if there isn't, this was definitely the choice. Alright, let's just start. This should be okay. As long as there's a place to take cover from them. Okay. Transcendence actually came in clutch here. Because I don't have any natural healing or anything along those lines, so... This is good. Yeah, I'll take that. It's good. Seeing if I can spot out another chest. Mm, doesn't look like it. Get out of here. What does this do per stack? Each additional sales start increases the chance of getting more items by 5%. Oh, okay. That makes sense.
Which is why I'd recommend the, that you pick them one at a time and then use them. I mean, otherwise, uh, understandably, it'd be too strong if each stack gave you an extra item. Okay, so I guess locate a big chest where possible here. I'm not sure how this is going to go, given shield suffers. <laughs> Rip, printer, you don't say. gonna be staff for money. <laughs> Just realized that this thing is a balloon. I thought it was like a magical floating star, but it, it's a balloon. defensive. Oh, this is horrible. Oof. Big oof. I don't think they'll ever reach the top here. I might not get any money out of this at this rate. I guess I'm gonna have to be really selective of what I purchase. won't even touch equipment barrels. Ooh, there's... Okay, hang on. 174. Got it. That's what I'm gonna buy. Oh, no. This might already be DG. We'll see. Doesn't seem too bad right now, but... I guess it depends what their next item is. for this. Oh. <laughs> Alright. 
of all the things to get. That is, that is disgusting. It doesn't look like they're attacking that much quicker, but scary thought. We're good. Bag off shore. I'm so grateful for the afterburner. <laughs> Oh god. Really? Not looking good. this probably shield but uh oh shit wow this is cursed I just have to hope that it doesn't proc. Bleed is really helping. Uh, gear team is thinking ahead. Really? Uh, 
I'm hoping that the proc rate is low for them. Dude, I'm clenching so hard. Oh, I saw it. Oh my god. Thankfully, they don't. It's not like if I lock on that I'm, I'm screwed. There is a, a chance to survive it. At least that's not going to have an effect. Oh, this one's more important. God, I saw the ATG. Nah, I'm screwed. Come on, heal, 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 heal. Oh. Okay. Please let this be a good equipment. Garbage. Garbage, come on. Wow. You just couldn't let me have something to help. Alright. Well, here we are. Uh, uh, that's... Hmm. That might be really bad. I'm not sure. Gone. survived. Uh, yep. Strongest item in the game right now. Oh, shit.
that has implications. And I can control. Okay, cool. Um, hold on. I'm gonna do it. Um, these three. Even though the equipment is garbage now. The potential this has is pretty strong. This isn't doing much for me. The slow I'll keep. Slow is useful. Yeah, that's fine. I almost feel like I should just YOLO it. Especially if I get um, Jester of the Drowned. I'm gonna yellow it. Screw it. It's not every day you get the fuel cell printer. I have afterburner anyway, so it's like I have mobility. Obviously, not getting rid of sales star. One thing I'm gonna do as well, since there's a crit printer. Pass is the cooldown on this. It's, pre it's pretty quick. Alright, so I'm gonna go for a gestures build. Another scrap. Hang on. Another scrap. Okay, keep that. Sorry this is taking so long, but I think this will set the path. Crap. 
This is, I mean, this is pretty good. I don't have to worry about heal. I'm kind of in a good place. Okay, let's identify what I'm spending this on first. Okay, well that, that one's not happening. chest. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Gotta love the sail star. I just realized I have enough of these that I can attack. I can kind of have this up pretty regularly. It's here. Okay, it's here. I'm not sure I'll be able to get it. It's not a big deal if I can't. That would be funny. I guess do it. Offers more utility. Alright. Is that a syringe printer? Oh my god, it's a syringe printer. I don't think that was a scrapper though. Wait, why isn't horn working? <laughs> oh, 
idea. Oh, no. Sure. I mean, that's good. Just for increasing the health pool. Oh, and it did drop an item. Neat. We'll have to see if there's a scrapper anywhere nearby. Have a look. I doubt there's one. It would be nice if there was, but I don't think there is. This is probably going to fail miserably. Oh, it was on it. Crap. Oh, well. I guess the easiest way to tell is... Mmm, doesn't look like it. What is that? That's equipment. I think. Yeah, it's equipment. Alright, then no. I think I just need one gesture, honestly. Okay, so this map had problems it's supposedly fixed now. This is why this item is so strong. Oh, okay. <laughs> it gave me the bonus item. Wee.
Nice. Uh, oh, it's just stage. It looked weird. It was glowing. Keep trying my luck. <laughs> Feel worse. There is a scrapper here. Um, it's not bad, but I'd rather keep this. Okay, we get rid of Squeed. Get rid of anything heal related. Did I get this? No. Alright, let's hit it. Ah, the stupid worm. Oh, careful. This worm's annoying. Because they go back in the ground, and then they regen. It's, it's dumb. I don't like this enemy. I don't think it's well thought out.
Like, look at this. I, I haven't been able to damage it because it stays on the ground forever. It just regenerates its shield. It's really stupid. Yeah, fuck that. I'm good. There it is. Oh. I have to. It's the second one. Okay, we, we might have something here. Okay, so let's see. It's on the cooldown of six. It's pretty good. One more gesture and it'll just be constantly popping. So I know what I need to do here. Just save as much as I can. And go open the red chest to get double, potentially triple. They nerfed the item. Doesn't spawn as many items as it used to, but it's still really good. Oh, stop it. This is the one thing they need to fix is just the AI of these worms. Sometimes it's just so irritating. Don't touch that yet. really needs to stop spawning gilded enemies. <laughs> I 
This doesn't count as a chest. Spin. Okay, we're good now. I mean, sure. I haven't actually seen... Oh, was that it? I was going to say, I haven't actually seen the meteorite thing proc, but... Meh. More enemies, please. Curious. What's the cooldown? Ten second. So it's infinite... Infinite gummy. Is what you're telling me. I can definitely keep this up forever. Try my luck. Nah, I'm good. I think I, the mystery one gave me that anyway. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Yeah, this is this is strong. <laughs> I 
We're gonna drop an item. I thought killing bo oh maybe chance to drop. Oh no, wait there. There it is. That's fine. That would be a waste. What do I even have? I don't really have anything that procs with doll. Nah. Nice. Don't have to scrap now. All right. this thing. Then hopefully my goobos will deal with that. Nope. Nope. I'm looking for rockets. handled. Ow. And if I had a more reliable way of hitting it.
Oh, piss off. I don't know, I've never liked this move, it's just that you're forced to disengage. Okay. Nah, either way it was a heal. this now I'm gonna do the artifact the command and then hopefully get the rocket launcher okay Getting seven stacks of this is, is a big deal. Also, an encrusted lockbox somewhere. Not. That was an upgrade. Eh. I realize I have this, so it's a free band. not here either. Alright. Think I'm ready. have no idea where the slot box is. Oh, scrapper. Nice. Alright. We could probably do this at the end.
trying to spot it out. Nice freebie, hang on. There you are. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna go in on the needle. I don't really care, I just want this thing to go down quickly. Still giving a lot of items. But sure, I got enough, but still working pretty well. I had something drop. Oh, there, there it is. Probably just gonna go in on the fire. Yeah, Gold's time is kind of irrelevant at this point. And then with the regen scrap, that makes 10. Alright, cool. What is it I saw over here? Oh.
I can't think of anything better to do with this, so why not? Oh, the slug. There's another one I should get rid of. Alright, that gets us to 15. Keep the other scrap. Slug. This is so weird seeing this. Okay, I need to find what I'm opening. I don't know. It's just harder to navigate these. It's not going to give me an equipment barrel. Okay, well, let's just go. Didn't see a big chest, but I won't open until the end. Oh, there is an equipment barrel. Okay, never mind. We got it. Hearing it cough everywhere. Okay, for that. One more. Ugh. This is, I guess, the part that I'm not a fan of, is, like, the opportunity for it to fall through seems to be rather high.
I also just realized that should be the chest I opened because it doesn't matter, it's choice. There we go, finally. What am I doing with this? Let me think. I reckon let's stack a little health. Um, but also maybe this. Let's see. Five seconds. I can get it down. Ah, oh, damn it. Even more. I can't believe I didn't get a single green. Sorry, I'm just being thorough. I appreciate the variety, but I think they've put too many holes in this. Because it's kind of annoying to navigate. Alright, I don't see anything else. What's with the instant regen back up to full health? Oh, whoops. Ah, it doesn't matter. I've already got the green portal. Stupid, gilded enemies, my god. Oh, 
I got. Being unable to heal is fine. Oh, what? What killed me? It spawned on top of me and one shot me. I just got risked over end. I mean, that was tough, because, like, on the one hand, I had the setting of a good build. It's just... I wasn't doing as much damage as I had hoped. Ugh. The stage is, is too big. And that was whip transcendence as well. Oh, that's horrible. I, I need to scrap this immediately. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose it. Wait, what's the scrapper? I saw it. I don't want that to be a waste of an item. I'm kind of torn by this stage. On the one hand... It looks really nice, but on the other hand, it is very, very big to the point where, like, you can't explore things efficiently. Shit. Okay. Let's do our best not to mess this up. I still haven't learned where the altars are either. Oh, in here? Yeah, there it is. Okay. 
again with the clutch positioning of this. All right, hit it. I should be able to manage with this. I'm curious if I can bait it to go off the edge. That would be funny. Leave my turret alone! Man, <laughs> don't do this. Hey, wakey, wakey. Hello. carrying this. Oh, nearly. Um, Pepe's brooch, uh, that, and me. for something that would rock on here. Alright, anyway. Yes, please. There we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. I can't see the rest of the stage. Shit, has that much time passed already? No, okay. I thought a lot of time had passed.
That's just an altar. I think what they need to do with this stage is like what they do with other stages where whilst the stage might be big, they block parts of it off so you're not trying to explore this massive stage that has nothing for the most part. Anyway. Yeah, nothing really interesting. All right. Just woke up randomly. Fair enough. No dreams about natural disasters. Kicking my ass. Ugh. Oh, it's it, really? Alright, well, I mean, it should be fine. Blame to get items that happen on hit. I think I got a good build for this. Good. That's another thing that happens on here. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't consider the fact that I don't have heals. Whoops. Guess I got away. Oh, I got no, I got PSG. That's fine. Uh oh, they got syringe. I'm kind of hungry, but I don't know what I want to, like, eat. I've already had food, but it was, like, pretty small. What is going on? Um, yeah, more stun. Just anything I can get to happen on here. Okay, that's fine.
damn. <laughs> Nice movie. You love this music? Yeah. The track here is really good. It's this one and the one that they have in the, um... The big forest. Sort of thing. That's really good. One sad thing about the original devs um, now working for Valve and no longer working on the game that they were gonna make. The dude that produces the music for this game was gonna produce music for that game as well. So that music won't see the light of day. Or maybe he'll repurpose it for something else, I don't know, but man. I think it's definitely a big part of the reason of why this game is good. Okay, what have I got? Um, go syringe again. Those beetles with crowbar. the slur. Nice. All right, that'll help. Oh, shit. <laughs> they got the whip. Okay, but I, I can slow them down when they get close to me. They're just obviously always going to get to me now. Ah! Oh my god, that hurt. I might die still. Ooh. That delayed damage may have saved my life. On the bright side, they're not going to do that much damage now. So I'm not on full health. If anything, I should probably hover on about half health. 
Yes! Okay. Oh, now we are good. I forgot to ask this earlier if like, anyone has had issues with Twitch chat in the past few days. I've heard multiple people say it's been a little erratic. Um, I guess. Like, just go utility. What issues? Like not being able to send messages despite it being loaded. And then the chat disconnecting. Oh god, they got ATG. That procs once I'm dead. You just assume no one is talking. <laughs> yeah, same. The biggest problem with chat at the moment is just the insane influx of bots. I don't understand how, you know, chat rooms have been around for such a long time and yet this is still a problem somehow. Yeah, I mean, Blyster sells pretty good. Uh, that's... Oh. No, no, it's fine. It's not going to do anything. It'll stop my slow once, and then afterwards it's okay. Oh god, I'm afraid. I'm, like, on high health. I'm going to go with Owl. Got lucky. Okay, watch my back, watch my back, watch my back. Come on. Yeah, all right, we're good. I'm not sure about this new item. I've picked it up once, and it just seems... I mean, I guess later on in the run, it seems to be good. Um. But this is pretty good on Huntress. I'll mess around with it more. It's not going to do anything now, but later on it will. All right, let's get some stuff up. Sure. Oh. I didn't think this through. 
I don't have health regen. Okay. Despite having clover, I might still go for shrimp. Because if I'm doing that, um, I can do the thing where I get like a lot of rain of arrows and then it just goes crazy with the rockets. Nice. Okay. Just need another chest now. Um, yeah. Don't really have crit at the moment, so that's fine. Please tell me there's one more chest somewhere. Just going back for this. Oh, whoops. Uh, I'm an idiot. I, I had the health. <laughs> hey, Colin, how's it going? It looks like chat's fine today. Yep. No. Now. How's that not- oh, because of the energy shield. There we go. And of course it dot- yeah, there we go. Okay. Going good. Working today, yeah. Uh. Getting your son ready to go to the dentist, ugh. I mean, as long as you don't have to wait around too much. I'm just kicking back trying to win at this. Haven't had any luck. It's just cleaning. Okay, yeah, then that's fine. As long as you don't have to drive far away either. So this is why I got the skull, because you do this. <laughs> and it... Just goes crazy with the rocket procs. Aside from the dentist, got much else on today. I've been really lazy today. Oh yeah, crap, I forgot to look for the bigger chest. Ah, it's fine.
Good. No, more stuff that happens on hit. Oh yeah, I gotta try and get as many buffs as I can to make that red item I got actually useful. Um, okay, so that will count. Looks like it didn't matter anyway. There doesn't seem to be a big chest. What's that? Oh, no thanks. There I go. Should be good enough for now. Hang on. Let me get another one of these. Alright. See this in action. Where's the beetle? This is why Rain of Arrows is good. Oh, that looks weird. I don't think I found the box either, so I should go look. More of these. 
Oh my god, it's here again. Okay, um... Just... Ugh, hate this. Hang on, let's just make sure there's no assassins. Yeah. There we go. I don't think I'm going to get it. It's going to roll off. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Oh, you dick. Come on. <laughs> no! I hate it when it's there. Um. Alright, hang on. Let's have a look. Is there anything else? You're annoying as a mother. You work your daughter yelling good morning while well, it's time to wake up and the look you got. <laughs> I mean, what time is it? I guess it depends if it's like... In this single circumstance. If the kid wakes up constantly early, this is a bit of payback. I mean, 9 a.m. on a on a weekend, that's not that bad. I personally would like to remain in bed, but that's fine. Wait, I didn't see the box. I, I can't linger for too much longer. If everyone else is up, then it's kind of hard to sleep anyway. You hear rumblings. Am I blind? I give up. I'm only l looking a little more because they have power behind me, so it's not too bad. I'm gonna hate where it, this is. Probably overlook something very minor. Alright, whatever. Go on. Man, the thing growing up that, whilst it wasn't intentional, it's not like, you know, my dad does, did this on purpose, but he would listen to radio from overseas, you know, specifically Central American radio, so they would play... It's like country music in Spanish, but... 
It's not the same as country music in English, but it's considered country music. And those kind of songs, they, they yell a little bit. <laughs> It'd be like 7 in the morning and then I, in the background, because my room was the closest to the computer, I'd just be hearing this music. I opened the door and I, I would give him, yeah, a look. I was a teenager then, but still. What is going on? That's... that was frightening, like, how many elites there were there. I mean, I guess it could be worse. <laughs> You're not playing music loudly. sleep over your friend's house in high school and her dad would play the coin vault channel on TV when I was trying to get up. He was a coin collector and he knew it bothered her so he did it intentionally. <laughs> what are they? Man. I, I just imagine someone monotone just talking about stuff. Oh, hello, what is this? Might be able to do some good here. There was a scrapper. I don't know. Well, growing up, my brother, when we were in the same room, he would get up early to watch cartoons and try to wake me up every time. I'd be like, dude, let me sleep. I don't want to lose this potion thing. I need to get rid of it. Oh, this is, this is cursed. The pests are by far the worst enemy they've introduced to this game. Okay, we're gonna go all in on these glasses. Um, what else have we got? Get rid of that. That's good memory you learnt about coins. I mean, at a trivia night, it could come in handy. You never know. I should keep that for the buff thing. I guess I probably shouldn't go for crowbar. You have a lot of useless knowledge in your head. Same here. I've talked about it before, I have the McDonald's jingle or, or thing that they had in the 90s. It's a promotion where if you recited this thing, I don't even remember what you would get. I think it was just access to the secret menu item, but I still remember it. And so, oh yeah, no, instead of retaining something useful, that's what I, I keep. Ok, 
Okay, I'll come back later, but the idea is going on that and... Yep, it's working really well. Great movement speed. I'm getting plate just to kind of calm them down a little. Jingles are definitely stuck from back in the day. <laughs> it's pretty bad that that stuff, like, you're conditioned to remember it. I still remember an exterminator number from the 90s. It's probably because I had a catchy commercial. Oh, here we go. This is what I wanted. Yeah, yes. Well, this one was easier to find. Um, shrimp, please. I probably should have gone bustling. Or oh, Wonga, sorry. Okay, let's go. Killed. Oh, what? Oh, no. That. Wow, the game is being a real asshole today. Look at that. Thank you. <laughs> I can't believe that. Are you kidding? Stop spawning these things that heal. Ugh. One thing I've been tempted to do is go home and get VHS tapes of stuff that I taped as a kid. I don't know if my parents would still have that stuff. Probably not. But they did keep a lot of random stuff, so you never know. But since I got that... I got the thing... That lets me hook up old consoles. Technically, I could hook up a VCR to it if I wanted to. And then just find old Australian commercials. But that requires a lot of effort. And then I have these VHS. <laughs> in a place where I don't really have that much room. Um, do I want to put anything else into these glasses? Let's see. Just th thinking. At this stage, uh... Maybe this. You show your VHSs in your parents' attic still. I guess it depends. They're probably going to be in a box, if anything. A lot of it would be recordings of Dragon Ball. Because that used to be on right before we had to go to school. So we could, we could only catch, like, the first ten minutes of it. And then we'd have to go to school.
Yeah, okay, this is the best track in the game. It's so cool, and yet, originally this track didn't exist. It, it's like something they added afterwards. When the stage released, I forgot what song would play, but it wasn't this one, and then all of a sudden they did an update one day, and it had this new track, and it was good. I don't know, the build-up to it is just great. One day they'll play stuff. Okay. Oh, what did I do? I was supposed to use it on the big chest. I wasn't paying attention. Kind of autopiloted. Could have had a second red. Recorded Inuyasha. Or Inuyasha. Jeez, I can't read. You want to have the whole collection. You found the box set on eBay and begged your parents to buy that for you. You still have that box set? <sighs> I'm glad I still have my Dragon Ball box set. Just. I think that's kind of annoying right now is not only things being removed from streaming services, but also things being censored. Plus the cost of these streaming services going up. Like, I'm tempted to just go through my collection, um, get a NAS and just have that stuff as something I can watch whenever. Easily my favorite track, man. It's so good. I haven't seen it. There's a lot of old anime that I kind of missed out. Because most of it was on cable. Um, with the exception of whatever they showed on public TV. So. I've been making time based on people recommending things. The biggest one that I'm glad I, I kind of caught up with was One Piece. It took, like, about a year to do it, but I, I did it. 
Inuyasha was your favorite? What, what's it about? I haven't, yeah, heard anything about it. Oh, um, do I have Needle Tick? No, I'm gonna stick to Bleed. Bleed is better in this circumstance. I was getting the other chests in the hope that it might give me another sale star, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I messed up. It's alright. Oh, I don't even have enough yet. about the adventures of a half-demon from feudal Japan and a demon girl from modern times. They team up with a monk and a demon slayer to find jewel shards and destroy an evil demon. Huh. Okay. I'll have to make a note of it. This might be bad. Oh, God. Wait, how did that... How did that hit me? I was... I had cover, what do you mean? That shouldn't have hit me. The explosion, I was shielded. Can't win, man. Alright, screw it, one more. This is gonna be a thing where I won't win today, but then next time... The first thing I do will be overpowered. That's just how it goes. I've got to make a list of anime to watch. Yeah. I think the thing that's e that makes it easier for me to watch something is like if someone else is invested in it as well. Because otherwise, I don't know, I'm just horrible. Like, Game of Thrones, man. For years upon years, people were telling me to watch that. And I just didn't until a few years ago. Because someone else wanted to watch it. One Piece as well, it's like... Years and years, but then my other brother got into it, so... Decided to watch. It's the same with what we do in the shadows, like, I, I've heard about that show for years and I only recently just started checking it out.
watch the movie first. M movie of what? What are we talking about here? What are we doing the shadows? Oh yeah, no, I saw the movie first. It's not... It's not continuity from the movie, at least I don't think so, but it does give you an appreciation for when the other guys show up later. The guy that plays Nandor is, is really good. I'm always a fan of uh, anything Matt Berry's in. Just his voice is just perfect for just every character he plays is a pompous, pompous dickhead. <laughs> Misjudged. It's okay, I have fruit. How do I... How have I only found three items? Just down there. Okay, good. I was gonna say that's unfortunate. We get that now. I know there's the altar at the back, but let's just do the teleporter first. Just, otherwise it was gonna roll over to the next difficulty. Close. <laughs> it's fine. I'm the control.
Hopefully this will pay off. Alright. Challenge time. I feel like this, I have enough to fill it in. Oh, I might be able to bait it to go off the edge. I want to see that. Come on. Come on. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna stand here. Oh no, it's smart. Okay, it's smart. It's smart enough not to do that. Nope, never mind. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Work smarter, not harder. Funny thing is, it kind of just walked off the edge. It didn't even... Like, if it dashed off the edge, it would have been understandable, but it just straight up just walked. Hmm. I think I should just stick with what I have. If I would have scrapped, I could have gotten an ATG out of it, but just the time, I didn't want it to get to the hard difficulty. Printer. I mean, Scrapper. I don't want to lose the Sail Star. Ooh. 
I don't think big chests are allowed to spawn in this at this stage. I'll have a look at the end. I won't open any chests until then. That nice and early. I just hope they don't get crowbar or teddy bear. Probably gonna help with beating this quicker. Ah! Oh god, they got they got mocker. <laughs> They're gonna have a ridiculous attack speed. So good. Fire. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> How fast are these things gonna attack? This is gonna be scary. Okay, that's not too bad. Pretty much unloads the whole thing right away. It kind of makes it easier to dodge because you just effectively have to dodge the one. Since it fires it all at the same time, practically. Um, yeah. As much as the fuel cell would have been good, just... This is good. Okay, um... 
Yeah, I'm moving speed again. Why not? Oh, no, that does nothing. We're fine. Stop it. <laughs> Keep getting yeeted. Thankfully, the attack speed doesn't affect the cooldown of uh, their skill. Ah! Okay. Um, go a slow. Okay, no, this is good. The stationary, so God, it's galley based. It's the move speed, it's just like. They're in my face so quickly, it's hard to get some distance. Yeah, I'm going for as well. Where are we? Over there. Oh shit, I might be dead. Oh, that is horrifying. Or the explosion might <laughs> cause it to burst. Oh god! Ugh. I'm alive. Oh. oh. That was way too close for comfort. Okay, I have to be on full health for this, I think. Um, uh-oh. Is that gonna make the brass contraptions just non-stop shoot? Ugh! Shit. Of all the things I could have gotten. <laughs> I pressed dash, but I didn't dash quick enough. 
Today is not my day. <laughs> uh, sorry if I got my butt kicked one more time. I think I'm, I'm going to go watch TV or something. Or at least because of unlucky circumstances. Nice. Too many printers. gonna hit. Oh, no, it did. I don't know if I'll get time to do the thing. Yeah. Oh, okay, this is not bad, actually. It's gonna make the backup mag hurt a little if I get one. I can't remember if in this stage I need to scale it or what. Get the altar. Got mystery. Yep, good choice.
can't say I've used this equipment that much. It looks like the cave is sealed, so then the altar's up high. I think. Yeah, it's sealed. Alright, looks like I'm not going to get to go to the void. So, with that in mind, let's just do this first. may have been a mistake. I don't have heals. Or region. Oh god. No! What time is it? Okay. We just really wanted to see what this is. I didn't even get to go to the void. I swear there's something wrong with the sound effects, like sometimes they're not playing. That's easy. Got that drone. <laughs> Ow! Drone up here. There we go. Need something to heal me. going on where are all the treasure chests I 
All right, I mean, this is pretty decent. Yeah, pretty decent. Two failures. Ah, all right. Come back to it later. It's nice that this is positioned right next to the teleporter. Okay, uh, let's get the other heal drone. I suppose I should do this first, hang on. Because this is going to drain my money and there's still Gamba. Then I can get the money back through the teleporter event. Where are they? There should be a constant stream of enemies. Okay, that should do it. Nice. Oh, no, that's good timing. Hopefully it happens. <laughs> oh, there's a chest here. 
All right. This is definitely a good start in terms of items. Might even get better. Two cloak chests. Okay. Um, that one I can figure out. This one I need to keep marked. I've never seen that before. I've seen one. I've never seen two. Okay. Get them first. one more over there. I have a scrapper. That's cool. Um, I might get rid of the watch. Just because at, at this point, it's probably going to break. But otherwise, I think everything else is fine to keep. Really good first stage. Come on. Nothing annoying, please. There's a slug printer over there, which might not be bad to get. Speed just solved this already.
They're just gonna go off the edge now. Yeah, good work. makes it easier to get around. Oh, ooh. Okay. Let's see where this goes. As long as I don't get anything like crowbar or crit, I'll be okay. See it. Oh, cool. There's a scrapper here as well. Uh, I mean, <laughs> as long as it doesn't hit hard. Oh, God, I'm getting deja vu again. They're going to get banned. still. It's pretty much just the brass contraptions I have to worry about. The bulls, because of the extra movement speed, they don't do anything. They just get lost. Whoa. <laughs> Actually, almost shot itself up the ramp. Ow. Where? 
What? Oh, there you are. Uh, okay, this. Then I have mobility. Uh oh. Could be bad. <laughs> it really depends what the final enemy is. Right now, it's still manageable. Gotta be kidding. It's going to do it to me again, isn't it? We're gonna get Ronald's banned. Is it really about to do this again? Every time I hear that sound, just look. <laughs> I hate it. They have movement speed, so they get here pretty quickly. Okay, that's fine. That's not going to do anything for him. Oh! Let go. That's... There's no threat. fast. Nice. Oh, <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Of all the shit. Okay, I need to move away from it. When they die on the point, I need to move away from it. I can do this. Just have to play smart. It does make healing really difficult, but I can do it. It's 
not gonna let me heal. Dude, this is insanity. No. Oh. Ah, shit. I was trying to, like, sit still for just one second to heal. It's really not going to let me get anywhere today. Every time I've gone in there, it's some combination of brass contraptions with crowbar, crit, dios. Just the most annoying thing you can come up with because I'm playing a character that doesn't have much health. And then you watch, the moment I swap, it's going to stop. It's like it almost knows what character I'm playing as. If I don't get anywhere with this one, I think that's it. <laughs> I know when to fold. Oh. Thought I could land there. On the bright side, it looks like there's a lot of stuff on this stage this time around. Okay, noted. Um, I'll probably just get deals. I'm gonna make sure I survive this time. <laughs> I'm giving myself everything that relates to survivability. Opal. If I had Opal, I probably would have survived. Oh good, this is here too. Yeah, this is actually a lot I will survive. Yeah, I mean, insert whatever 80s montage music you want into this. But I, the sounds are still glitchy. Like, sometimes they just don't play sound effects. Okay, if I don't win with this, what I have right here, this, this surely will let me get through the void. This is an even better start than the previous run. I, I am going to have every single heal item at my disposal. Well, early game heal item, at the very least. 
I love it if I still lose with this. Yeah. That's when, um, you know, to end your day. I didn't see a scrapper, so that's fine. Hold on, chat. Uh, headset's beeping. To change batteries. I say this every time. But just if I don't do it, the genius designers of these, this headset was like, when the battery gets down to 10%, let's just play a beeping sound every 10 seconds, despite the headset probably being able to last another hour. It's all good now. I like the headset. Just, that's the one thing that, man... Oh wait, it's not even up here. Oh. No, 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 I know where it is. I already got it. I'm an idiot. It's late at night, midnight brain is kicking in. <laughs> um, I guess do teleporter before it gets too hard. And then I'll go do the shrine. What has it do I have? Um, Arctus Nova Pro, it's like a Steel Series one. I like that I can hook it up to the PC with wireless, and then if I'm playing on my handheld, it's got Bluetooth mode independent of that. So, you can have both going if you want. But also it comes with two batteries, so the moment the battery gets low, you just swap out the battery. And then put the other one to charge, so there's basically no downtime. Other headsets do that, I'm sure. And a minion, come on. I have to get this this time. Oh, I will be really <laughs> upset if I don't win. Or at the very least, get into the run. Suck. I should have the money to do this. I kind of wish it would drain a little quicker than what it does. There's... I mean, I guess in later difficulties it doesn't happen that way because there's a constant flow of enemies, but here there's a lot of waiting. Like right now, I have enough money to fill it up, but I'm going to have to wait 15 seconds. I can't cheese it this time, I actually have to fight it. Hey, Beetle! What are you doing? There we go.
Very fancy headset. You bought a crappy headset for work. It's so bulky. Don't like it, but it was cheap. Yeah. I mean, I used to have a bad headset for a long time. Um, but I, the, the, the way I get these things is like I get given gift cards sometimes to this place that sells that kind of stuff. And I don't know what else to get from it. So that's how I got a good headset. Um, the mic, the best one was the mic. Getting the microphone upgrade was probably the, where is the item? That, well, yeah, well done. Um, that, that, and let's say move speed. And then we're covered. Shame all the chests have been opened, but that's okay. Okay, I have such a good start. What's this year's upgrade going to be? Uh, my internet connection is going to get better upload rates. I think they're almost going to be tripled. So then I can up the quality so it doesn't end up blocky on action games. It'll be pristine image because Twitch still hasn't gotten their act together when it comes to providing the new video codec that YouTube's using, that just lets you get better quality out of your stream. So, you know, failing them rolling out that stuff, I can at least do it on my end. To the maximum they allow. The best part is just uploading videos to YouTube afterwards. It's gonna cut it down from it taking like a couple of hours to upload 4k footage to just being maybe half an hour I mean my download rate's gonna increase a little as well but but it's already kind of at the point where it's I'm not gonna say negligible like if you're downloading 40 gigs of files it's gonna be even quicker, because right now, like, I can get that in a few minutes, but, man. It's like, I'm good, I can be patient. It's doing it again, by the way. It's the ex exact same thing. Start with the bison, and then watch, it's gonna, it's gonna do it again. It's gonna give me the brass contraption. <laughs> They're going to get something annoying, and then I'm gonna die, like... Um, medkit. It's almost like clockwork. Right now, that's not a threat, but if it's anything like wisps, if it's wisps, that's horrible, or pests. Is that a big chest? It is! Ooh. Sales star going to that. What are they? Okay, thank you. I need to kill one more, then I'll have the money. There we go. Okay, I'm opening that. Yeah, I mean, outside of that, I don't think I'm going to get anything as an upgrade. As the big upgrade for this year was the new computer, or end of last year. Um, let's go play it. Just anything to mitigate damage a little more. Uh, dude, I have... <laughs> every heal at my disposal, with the exception of crit scythe. And, of course, like, you know, red items. I'm going to be really upset if I don't get this. Oh, and, you know, getting heal equipment. 
Oh god, it's gonna do it again, isn't it? Like, I, I'm just worried. They're gonna get crowbar or crit. At least I have my little friend there to run interference. Where is it going? Um, hmm, I'll go with syringe. I can't just be all defensive. Uh, that just makes him shoot lasers constantly. could be really bad, depending on what the green item is. At least the opal should stop the knockback. Okay. Uh, crit. gonna do it again. <laughs> now the beetles just spam the their attack. I swear it's almost like the game knows what character I'm playing as. Shuriken. Good. All right, I got lucky. Opal is really helping me out here by preventing the knockback. Ah! 
Um, utility move speed. Oh no, this is what I was afraid of. It could get dangerous with bleed effect. I'm so glad I have the beat. Let's <laughs> running interference. I think I'd be having a much harder time otherwise. Oh, nah. Because I'm gonna get another item from it. That's why. Otherwise, I would have gone ATG. Oh, good movement speed. And if I can find another big chest, that'll make it worthwhile. Nice! Okay. Alright, nearly there. It just needs to not screw me over with the final item. The curse may be lifted. I doubt there'll be a second big chest, but I'll look. At the very least, this one's here. So I will get a bonus item. Oh. Cancel. Leave it. And get yet another bonus item. It's not going to give me any benefit anyway. Wow. Okay. Oh, God. They got Clover, and they have Bleed. The guaranteed Bleed if I, if I get hit. <laughs> this is fine. Just got to avoid getting hit. I'm lucky that it's up here. I just have to worry about the pests. I got this. Let's go Catalyst and try and get the equipment. Um, I mean, for Huntress, this is probably better. Okay. Then go get the other one. There's no way there's a third big chest. That would be insane luck if I had another one.
I'll look, but I doubt there is one. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Ah, damn it. Yeah, I think we're good. It doesn't look like there is one. Alright, go. Okay, pretty good hole. with this one. Alright, that works. Should have looked for a big chest, but it's fine. Oh, there was one here. Well. I guess I still got a bonus green out of it, so it doesn't matter too much. It's like the end result is the same. Even if I would have opened this one. Well, I guess it could have been a red. But the likely result would have been the same. Now, if I can get Dull, we'll be in a good place. Rockets are good. I should go back and try and get Jester of the Drowned. Not. 
<laughs> really? Yeah, let's see what this is. Oh, no. I'm good. Yes! Alright, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Alright, now we just try and stock up on, on death effects. This might be the one. That's it, right? Just have a look around. Oh, damn, I just realized that new item seems to um, continuously happen as you have doll up. So that's a permanent buff. Holy crap. <laughs> Moving so quick. Okay. I got ATG. But I need Wisp Jaw. This isn't a guaranteed win, but at least I'm in a good spot. through again. Yeah. Trying to time it so I don't take full damage. There we go. G G. There it is. All right. There's the magic combo.
I just need to get more stuff that works with it. Um, let's go, Opal. I'm going to find a big chest. Oh, my God. Shadow Spleen. Oh, but I guess this doesn't work. Because of, um... The corrupted thing. Yeah, it's pointless. <laughs> I forgot about. That's fine. Beetle God is honestly gonna fall off anyway. We'll hang around for this level at least. I need more enemies to fight. Get this. Oh my god, it's like at 70 something stacks. Eighty does this just infinitely keep increase oh okay. The number just keeps going up, it's not dropping. Oh, I I had no idea how busted this is. It's at a hundred and three. Things are just instantly dying. I think that's why I'm not seeing enemies. It's just... They appear for a second, then they're gone. Ooh. Oh... Okay... Off to the dentist. Alright. Have fun. Hopefully you don't have to be there for too long. I might watch stuff later, maybe. Is that it? Wait, does... What is that? Equipment barrel? Big chest up there. Alright, got it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to have an early night tonight. Okay, I can't stand still. If there was a scrapper, I'd put more into the topaz brooch. Because there is a topaz brooch printer, and then it's just gaining so much shield that I can stand still. Alright, looks like this is probably going to be a little hit at this rate.
that's the missing piece. That's what I needed. Dude, I'm moving so quick that the dash, I just go flying across the screen. Alright. Onwards. Okay. Here, remember to open the chest first. It begins. It's not heavy on damage, that's the main problem with it. I don't want to get too greedy. Oh, there's an attack speed printer. I mean, my attack speed's already really good, but taking it up another notch would be funny. Why are there only green... There's multi-shops. This isn't even a threat. Oh. Yeah. Well, we definitely want that. Since we have Aegis... something I can fight. Okay, here we go. Let's see the magic. Oh, lord. The lord. Sonorous whispers. Yeah, this is... I will be really sad if I lose here. Oh. Um... That's not a good item to get. It keeps upgrading things a tier. If I'm not wrong. That'll probably brick the run if I do that. Because I don't want that. Like, I want... White items. And it's going to get rid of things that I don't want to get rid of, so we don't touch that. amount of buffs I have. Mental.
This is finally it! Um, there's a scrap bar I need to get rid of some of this junk. I have a lot of junk. Yeah, stuff doesn't survive. Oh, another sail star. Thing is, I may have exhausted my treasure chests. Oh no! Adaptive chest is good. Ah, uh, bad luck. Didn't it give me an item? Oh no, it gave me two leeches. That sucks. Anyway, onwards. Damn it, a second shatter spleen. I don't know how much more damage this is doing, but it's like... The fact that it's infinite sucks, that's kind of insane. It's really only in this specific example that the item is broken, which there's nothing wrong with it. It's fine. You get the right synergy, being rewarded for it is good. Despite it being insane. Okay. Oh, this, this is finally it. I find a big chest. Oh, there's a scrapper. Okay, good. We can get rid of some garbage. What is going on? What is... With all the color. That should not mess with that. Oh, 
Oh my god. I forgot about this. <laughs> I can just spam. And then the lead dies. Yeah, okay, no, this is this is definitely busted. Sure. Do we have a normal key? No. Oh lord, I got a red item. <laughs> I haven't been able to find a, a big chest. Probably walk past a bunch of them. What is that? That's damage chest. That's a good alternative. Another damage chest. Okay, well, I'm gonna use this. Just to kind of get to the point where it's just generating so much shield. There's a okay, dagger, that's good. I refuse to believe there's no big chest here. There has to be at least one. The moment I give up, that's when it's gonna give it to me. Um, anyway, let's just get rid of things that are never gonna be useful. At this point in time, um, this is overstated. It's welcome. Same with slug now oh, what else flip and daisy get rid of leech seed Get rid of that. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, I really can't find a big chest. That's so annoying. There's damage chests everywhere, but not big ones. Actually, the, what, is, what is going on? There's only damage chests up here. Alright, look. I mean, I tried. That one up. Wait around forever.
Watch me find one now. That's gotta go. I guess medkit as well. It's, it's just anything like that is just not useful anymore. Oh yeah, I gotta remember to swap the portal for loop. We do not want a Mythrix. Ah, you... Are you kidding me? It was right next to the teleporter. What did I say? But I was going to find one eventually. Alright, I guess go. That was instant annihilation. <laughs> I'm going to be really upset if I somehow lose here. Oh, okay. That's a freebie. Because I killed Elite. Just needs more area of effect. Oh yeah, there's a bleed printer. Where are you? There you are. At this point, even backup mag is kind of a moot point. Same with crowbar. It's like, okay, one crowbar for something that is just scaling damage no matter what. Um, 
I think that'll do. This is it. Just gotta get the portal. Um, yeah, that. Ooh. Right, big chest. What is that? I don't know what that thing is. Okay, we got the portal. Um, I just want to find a big chest to open. Am I really not going to find the big chest again? I didn't see one. I oh, know there it is, okay. Yep. Um, at this point, I may as well get this. Just makes sense, right? All right, let's do this first. Mm-hmm. I think I've finally done it. Wait, can I make this happen? Yeah, I can make this happen at the same time, I think. Oh no, it's locked. Never mind. Not exactly the biggest of explosions, but it works.
Let me just do a quick sweep. I really don't like that item, but... I don't think there's a scrapper. Ah, that's a waste. Do it. Why isn't anything spawning? This is enough. Oh, there we go. Maybe it's just instantly dying. that wow um guess get that it's just like it's gonna generate shield as minuscule as it might be it's the doll there's no gamba Oh wait, there's still one more stage, never mind. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, oh, I hope there's a... Grapper. For a sec, that was a red. What's that? That is just normal utility. I won't give up. Little chest, come on. Mm. 
It does not look like there is a scrapper, which is a shame. Okay. I mean, let's get the Drone Man army going. So... Bosses keep spawning here. Can I just hang out here and just keep collecting items? Come on, one. There has to be one big chest somewhere. I refuse to believe there's not a single one. Maybe doing the teleporter event will let me see it better. The hell is that? Yeah, all right, let's just not. Now I can see this better. That's what the altar is. I'm just learning the stage at this point. Whoa, what was how? I think I have to give up. I don't think this is a big chest. I feel like I've looked everywhere. Kind of unbelievable. Alright, anyway. Just open that one. As much as I didn't want to. I didn't see a scrapper either.
I'll take my chances. This needs to be strong. I think 10 should be enough. Everything's just too split up here. Okay, I can't wait to find everything. Is that everything? I think it is. Or at least. Where's green portal? There you are. Alright. Oh, finally. Oh, still not over. I guess same thing again. At least this map is smaller. Oh, I can't do that. It'll ruin the flow of things. Yeah, no, that's that's great positioning on this item. None of these are particularly useful. not find the big chest. I'm just gonna do this. I guard that, but I don't crit because of the replacement. It's not going to do anything. Um, whoop.
yeah, I think I got another stage that doesn't have a single big chest on it. just how unlucky that is. Alright, whatever. Straight up can't see anything else. Ah. Okay, well, let's just collect everything real quick. I guess at this point I may as well get this. Even though it's not going to do anything, it's like, well... Actually, I just realized I shouldn't have done that. I think the next stage still has the, um... the printers. Portal. So I guess I should let this build up. Oh, that is frightening. I think it can kill me. But I don't want to risk it at the same time. Okay, this is nice. And now we have something even better.
Really cool looking stage. Curious if there's anything else to grab. Oh, here we go. All right. Well, I'm not winning this today. I'm not winning this. <laughs> that resonance disc that works for catalyst I have no idea where the log entry for this would be so much happening in this game. Oh, this is nothing. <laughs> as insane as this guess, this is pretty mild, all things considered. Alright. <laughs> the scary part is when he disables my attacks, but... Oh. Wow, he died before... He's gonna disable my moves. Okay, no, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't get a chance. Too strong. Um, I don't think it matters, right? Well, that took me hours upon hours of my life to do. So is there nothing else? I'm climbing just in case there's like a log entry or something. Is that something I can get to? Nah. Yeah, then, okay. Offer item? What does this even do? Cause just, that just ends the run. Um, I'm gonna offer this cause this is doing nothing for me. There we go. That's... <laughs> That's what I unlocked. And it's fine. Looks cool. Alright. 
That's that's enough. I'm done. Ugh. That took forever to get that to win. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it seems like the game's in a better place. There are still things that are a little buggy here and there, but it's definitely not in the state that it was in um, last week, so good. All right, well, that's going to do it for tonight's Risk of Rain session. Hope you enjoyed. If you're checking this out later on YouTube on the VODs channel, hope you enjoyed as well. And if you want to support the channel, just click the like button. Helps a lot. Uh, but thank you so much for watching.